Morning guys. Day three or is it four of the sheep fire? And now it looks all nice and quaint and quiet. Looks like the fire is gone, but don't be deceived. It burned up and over the top of that ridge last night, right? Let's see if I can get this here, okay? That ridge has been burned off. And the, uh, the fire will come right down that valley from here all the way down in here, right? If it gets out of that valley. Yesterday I showed you guys a video of a, a helicopter that was going right over my head and it made about five or six passes going straight straight up my road, right into that valley. And I thought it was a, a, a spotter helicopter and it might have been to a certain extent, but now I understand it. I thought, you know, usually a helicopter like that's used for brass to kind of, kind of look at the fire and to take a reconnoiter and everything, but they were doing the job. They were taking the hotshot crews up into that fire because that's the head of the fire it was yesterday. Uh, don't know where they're at today, but that was where it was critical yesterday. And so they were taking the hotshot crews into that location to get them at the head of the fire to get them to stop that fire from coming down that valley. Because if it gets down that valley and out of that choke point, these houses that are on the east side of me, that ridge right there goes all the way up, up high, okay? Same thing with the ridge to the right. That ridge is nothing but houses, okay? All the way up, and it's the high land on either side of the valley that comes down. See that valley right there? That valley, let me get my finger to point, there it is, is uh, comes right down to that point right in there where that tree's at. That is the choke point, okay? If they can keep the fire on the other side, notice that one ridge right there has been burned off. But if they can keep the fire from coming through that pass and into this valley, they've saved those homes because that's the key, keeping that fire on the other side of these ridges. That mountain range right there, above that, see that mountain range where that water tower is at? That on the other side of that is a lot more desolate and not that many homes, if at all, right? I don't know what's back in there. I don't go back in there. But in a general sense, that pass right there that we're talking about is key. So that's the choke point for this location at the t this time. That hill right there, it's all been burned off, so now that is a backfire location, meaning there's no more fuel, and the wind is going to push to my left. It's going to push east this way. If they let that fire, if that fire gets away from them and gets out of that pass right there, okay? If it comes through that pass, there's a, there's a ATC, you know, motorcycles can get in there, ATCs can make it through there, but you can't get any driven vehicles through there. It's got to be off-road type vehicles that can back into these mountains. Okay, so they're not going to be able to take their trucks up my road and get back up in there. They can fly their hotshot crews is what they did yesterday. And, uh, and I'm, thank you firefighters. Thank you very much, man. That's, they're, they're busting their ass to contain this fire and get it to at least save as many homes as they can and keep it safe, you know. They evacuated Wrightwood. I have no idea what's going on the other side of that fire, what's going on on that, that side. You know, that's the other side. That's the uh, north or actually it'd be south, I'm trying to figure out my direction. Okay, here we go, we got, I got sounds of helicopters coming. So they're sending their spotters in, they're starting on it right, right now, it's not even six o'clock yet. So I will head to my local restaurant down the way that's a very popular restaurant called the Ricks. And I will kind of check, check out the community and there was a Cal Fire guy in there yesterday morning. He'll probably be there this morning. And I'm using the feeling uh, community list that we have on Facebook to, to get people to start posting with a hashtag sheep creek, excuse me, sheep fire, sheep fire, hashtag sheep fire, capital S, capital F as in Frank, sheep fire, all one word. Um, that way, any critical information, locations for uh, taking in horses and, and animals and uh, our evacuation center, I don't even know where that's at. If I've got to bug out of here today, I've got to be concerned with that. Where is the evacuation center for my, loca my location? Is it the high school? Where is it? Where are we, we, we getting together to be able to have a cot to sleep on for the night? You know, if I can just have a place to lay down with a sleeping bag, I'm happy. You know, it's, uh, it's all we can do. And I've got to take the dogs to the ex-girlfriend's place and go take crates over there with them. 
uh, possibly. I don't know if I'm going to bug out yet, but it's you know it looks quiet now, but this thing's going to start going as the day starts progressing and the wind comes up. It's going to flare, so it's not done yet. Let's see what was it? Five percent contained. That's nothing for the forest that we've got there. This, this national forest. It's it's huge. You, know, you can see it from the, some of the the uh, news reports. I'm sure they're going to be on the morning news and talking about the fire. Huh, scary stuff. Uh, I'm just kind of getting my day started, letting Buddy range around and get some potty break. I'm Bud Bud. I'm Bud Bud. All right, Mark Parash, Protect Dog Training, signing off, guys. Have a good day. Be safe.